what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to create dimensions in revit mep 2022 so in this exercise we are going to use temporary dimensions to locate layout and lock lighting fixtures okay so as you can see currently we are on level one lighting plan a Okay, so we are going to lay out lighting fixtures using temporary and permanent dimension. Okay, so how to do that? Alright, so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just simply select the lighting fixture on our uh, left side, on the upper left side. So I'm going to select that one. Okay, and then right away, once you select your, your, oh sorry. Okay, so right away, when you select your lighting fixtures, there's already a temporary dimension that will appear here. Right? So this is the temporary dimension here. So it says here 48 feet something something. Okay? So what I'm going to do is, you see, I can drag that witness line. Okay? So this is the witness line. So I'm going to drag that. And then after that, I'm going to put that here on this face of the wall. Okay, there you go. So right now it says 10 foot, uh, 10 feet, right? So this is a temporary dimension. So if you click outside, you will notice it disappear, obviously, because it's just temporary dimension. So if I'm going to select this one, so you will notice there is no temporary dimension because it's too near the screen okay it's too zoomed in so i'm going to zoom out just like that and then just click outside and then let me select again my lighting fixture and then there you go so our temporary dimension again appears and it went back to our location here so i'm going to drag again this witness line so i'm going to move that and then i'm going to place it here again Okay, so now, to make our temporary dimension permanent, so all you have to do is to select that icon there. So you just need to click that one, and then just click outside. So you will notice now that it's now permanent dimension. So even if you click outside, it will not disappear. And if you want to create a new type or style of your dimension, so what you can do is you can select that dimension and then you can go to properties and then as you can see currently that is 3 over 32 inch aerial type of dimension. So if you click the drop down arrow you can also see the other type here. Now if you want to create another type instead of the available uh, dimension styles here so you can click edit type select that one and then from the type properties it's either you can use this as your reference or the other dimension as your reference and then you can duplicate it just duplicate and then put the name and then once you put the name select ok I'm not gonna create new one so I'm just showing you how So just duplicate put the name that you want and then you select ok and then after that, that's the time you can now modify the graphics here. Okay, so you can go to the color if you want. You can change the color. You can change the text properties like if you want to make that italic, bold, underline, text size, text offset, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically you can use the type properties to modify your dimension style. Okay, so that's why it's always uh, good to duplicate first before you modify your uh, type parameters here or your text <clears throat> but if you just want to change or modify your current uh, dimension style then you can just go ahead and straight change the properties here no need to duplicate but if you want to create a new one so you can duplicate it all right anyway so i'll just select cancel here all right so now going back the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to continue the dimension string use, uh, using the edit witness lines that 
or the, using the dimension that we just created. Okay, so how to continue the dimension? So I'm going to select this dimension here. And then you will notice that on our options bar, there is a liter. And then there's also a preference here. Okay, so you can modify the preferred condition for dimension face uh, selection. So if you click the drop down arrow, so you have other options here. So currently it's on the wall faces. So every time we place a dimension, so we can snap that on the face of the wall. Okay, so you can select other options here as well. Okay. Now, so while the dimension is still selected, if you look here, so there is this witness lines panel, right? So you can click that edit witness line to continue the dimension string. So just click that one. There you go. And then you will now notice that you are now able to continue your dimension. So let's say I'm going to peek at the middle or the midpoint of this lighting fixture so I can do it continuously like that right okay and then after that I'm going to select here modify oh sorry oh, okay so I made a mistake do not select modify yet so select edit with this line so you need to click outside first Let's click that one then let's click that and then just click outside blank space okay click and there you go so you just uh, continue your dimension string into a four dimensions for these four lighting fixtures okay so let's try to do that as well here on our uh, other two rows of uh, lighting fixtures okay so we can click one again we can move that witness line we can snap that here and then after that just make that permanent and then just click outside and then click the dimension edit witness line okay then I will just pick here pick here pick here and then just click outside okay so if you want to do it manually so you can select the, this uh, select this dimension here on our quick access toolbar so you can click that one and then again before you place your dimension you can change the dimension style that you want okay so in my case I'll just use the default one and then I'm not going to place it so I'm gonna click here click here Okay, so click, 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 all right, and then for the location, just click another point again, there you go, and then just select modify. Okay, and then aside from that, you can also lock the dimensions between the fixtures. Okay, so you can lock it. So let's say, uh, for example, I want to lock the dimension somewhere here so I'm going to select this oh sorry you you need to select the dimension and then you can click that lock icon if you want so that this 13 feet is now locked between these two uh, lighting fixtures here okay so if you move this lighting fixtures the other one will move as well because they are locked into this distance Okay, right. Now, if you want to change the dimension, so let's say, for example, here, between this lighting fixture and then this lighting fixture, it's 14 feet. So if you want to make that 15 feet, so you can click the lighting fixture. And then again, you will notice this will become temporary dimension that you can click to override. Click, then you can type 15 and then enter. There you go. And then just select modify again okay so basically this is how you place your dimension so it's really not that difficult to create dimension in Revit okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day